All right, so these here are Highland cattle, and they originated in around Scotland and the Hebrides. They're uh, first mentioned in the 6th century AD, so they've been around for quite a while. There originally were two types of uh, Highland cattle that were described, uh, and this here is a mule, <laughs> but uh, but over the years they uh, bred them together, and so now currently there's just the one type of Highland cattle, which is basically a, I guess you would call it a cross of the two, or just a, a joining of the two uh, types. Come in all kinds of colors. Uh, so they're not just one particular particular type like you see here. There's a black. There's some duns. There's a white or a yellow um, There's a, they also come in brindle colored, which is like a, a tiger stripes um, Silver all kinds and now most our Highlanders have horns Now some of them have the, the conventional um, ah, Come on Come on horses um What's there? 15 seconds of fame. So most cattle have like those upright, um, up and outwards type horns, but some have like a, the, the lyre, um, which uh, I don't know if any of these do. And then some actually grow downwards. Like, let me see if I can uh, zoom in. So some, like the one that's Scratching is like, you know, up and outwards. And then the one here in the middle. Ah, uh, the horse. Donkeys. Everybody's in the way. So, alright buddy. Let's see if I can get a good shot of somebody. While the, come on. Alright. These guys like to be on TV. Anyway, so the Highlanders, they're really nice uh, cows. They're very docile. Uh, a lot of these guys here, you can actually uh, uh, go up and pet them. Although you don't want to uh, pet them on the top of their head because they can't see the way their, you know, their eyes are. So they, they don't like being touched at the, you know, this the base of their skull but if you like pet them on their sides or whatever they're pretty cool about that and so this girl here her horns are out to the side kind of like a uh, like a longhorn cow but some actually will grow down and in uh, down and inwards which there's one girl here that is way in the back that's kind of like that um, and most of them are just their conventional, uh, horns. Now that girl there, hers are out and downwards. Come on, quit. Horses are messing with the stand. Now a lot of people, you know, associate... Highlands with very long ropey hair and it's normally their winter coat and especially down here in the southeast they'll shed it out in this late spring and summer they keep cool so a lot of these just have like a they're not really smooth coats but they just you know still kind of rough but they don't have those nice long uh, kind of dreadlock look to them uh, I'm gonna reap position myself around and I'm gonna try and get a f image of the one girl's horns that are down and inwards so hold on a second all right so this girl here is a pretty good example of what I mean it is down and actually forward more instead of uh, down actually so it's lateral and going straight forward. Some will take that instead of going forward, um, like it's pointing ahead, it'll actually go downwards. And of course that girl over there is very more, or a lot more 
typical of like a longhorn cow going straight out. So there's a lot of variation in the horns. Now bulls can get up to about 1,800 pounds and cows are around can get up to around like 1,100 pounds. So they're a little bit on the on the smaller side for horse or for cattle, but they're really really neat. Have really good history. Um, they taste pretty good. They have a really nice carcass. So they're actually pretty good for like homesteaders or or specialty uh, cuts. They're very good temperament, super docile. I mean, here I am in the pasture. They don't know me at all. The owner is, you know, off at the house. And I am literally, this girl here laying down is like 20 feet away. And uh, the owner said, you know, I, I could get even closer, but I just, you know, don't want to, <laughs> don't want to risk it. But, um, uh, they do have a lot, uh, a lot less cholesterol than other kinds of, than other breeds of beef. So, or other breeds of cattle, I guess, would be a better way to say it. Um, and, you know, they're, they're pretty good. They're able to dig through the snow with those horns to find feed, uh, food, grass, and whatnot. So, they're pretty easy to overwinter. And... They're, they're actually pretty short, too, by the way. Uh, these girls are like, I don't know, three and a half feet. Maybe uh, like four foot for this girl coming up over here. About four foot tall at the, at the back. Um, and, I mean, obviously super cold tolerant, being in the, the highlands of Scotland. And so, you know, pretty much... They're a really easy keeper. Everything I've heard and everything I've seen from them, they're super easy keepers. I would recommend them more. I mean, they're not going to be ideal for like a, a commercial herd. So, you know, if, if you're wanting to raise, you know, a thousand cows or something like that for, for beef production or just to sell to the to the, your local livestock auction, you know, Highlanders really aren't going to... Um, be that good of an of a breed for you at the local you know stockyard or something what you're looking at for highlanders are going to be more for somebody that's going to do on a a hobby farm or um some people use these for like petting zoos they're really good for petting zoos one because they're not quite as big as others and two they look neat and they're just so docile that you know they fit really well for a, a petting zoo um or, you know, birthday party type deal. I know this horse is in the way, so please forgive forgive her. Um, so yeah, this is this is great for like the local homesteader to put you know meat on their own table, or if you're, you know, selling like if you have a market for low cholesterol beef, that would be a good outlet, you know, for like uh restaurants healthy restaurants you know upscale restaurants that might be an option um so yeah this isn't something that you're probably not going to want to mass produce these in any large number because like i said they're not just gonna get this they're not gonna get the large size so you're not gonna have the nice big you know uh cuts of of meat that a lot of people are looking for but anyways they're really cool uh, comment below on t what you think. If there's anything that I've missed out or, you know, forgot to mention, I'd like to hear it. And these are Highland cattle. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.